This is code.org. Let's see what we have. Rebuild the triangle code from the last puzzle. So hopefully you were in the last puzzle and you know what it's talking about. But this time also add a new block to add 10 to the length each time the loop finishes. Interesting. Okay, so first we need the variable length. I'm going to go to variables, pull this out and say length. Now, what I'm doing here is using the word length to represent a number. And if we're using the code from the last puzzle, good, it tells us again, the length of the first side of the triangle is 150. So that means the length needs to start at that number. All right, I'm going to again leave this outside of a loop for now, because I want to show what it's actually doing. So we tell it there's a variable length, length is equal to 150. Now I'm going to say move forward by length. The computer then says, what the heck? Move forward by length. What's length? Oh, schmack. Oh, you said length was 150. Move forward by 150. Cool. Which is why if I do this, it won't work because the computer says code runs in order and the computer says move forward by length. What is length? Looks above it. I don't know. Nothing. Then it goes down a line. Oh, length is equal to 150 but it would just keep going. It doesn't look up here and say, oh yeah, remember when they said length before? Now, code has to run in order. So this way, computer knows what length is, Quapow. Now they're asking us to add 10 to it each time. So let's see, variable change, cool. So I'm gonna do change length by 10. All right, except, actually before I do that, it's a triangle, let's go ahead and turn. So turn left. And I'm going to hit run. Let's test. So far, so good. Okay. Now, I hit run a lot, by the way. I like to test what I have. I'm going to change the length by 10, which is they, what they ask. Add block. Yep. Add to 10. Change length by. Okay. And now what? I'm going to move forward again. How much? Length. And then I need to turn again. Okay. And then I need to move forward, turn each time. So each side, that would mean... Let's see if we get two sides. Yep, two sides. So now I'm going to do variable change length by 10. Action, move forward again. And turn. And then I'll throw a change down here too. Because after each side. Let's see. All right. So we have it. But clearly, if you look up here, I'm using 13 lines of code. Now, what I want to point out, though, is we are able to do this now. This is what actually is occurring. Let's look, let's look for repeated code, right? So what are we doing? I move forward, I turn left, I change length by 10. Move forward, left, length by 10. I hope you're noticing this is the repeated code. There's a few things I want to hit upon first, though. Throughout this, we only actually set length once at the top. We do need to add 10 to it, which is what this is doing. That's why these lines are getting longer. We need to add 10 to it, but we only ever set length once, right? Because setting it erases what was there before. So before, right here, length would be equal to nothing. It's now equal to 150. Well, if we change length by 10, length isn't equal to 10. Length is equal to, and the computer says, what the heck was length equal to? Oh, it was equal to 150. Okay, so I'm going to add 10 to that. So at this point, right here, length is actually equal, equal to 160. If you can read that, I'm proud of it. Now it goes down, we move forward, length, and it goes, what's length? And this line, it's hard to tell, is actually a bit longer than that guy, which is why we're off a bit here. And then it goes, okay, turn, zoop, and change by length by 10. So now it says, what the heck was length? Zoop, oh, we change, it's 160. So now it would be 170. And that's why this triangle isn't connecting. It's long. So again, we only set length once. I want to show you what happens if we were to do this multiple times. I'm going to set length again right here to 150. And then I'm going to do it again, right here, to 150. And this kind of makes sense, right? You're like, okay, I need to keep setting it. Well, now it's a perfectly even triangle. And where it's more common to see this, let me get rid of these extra ones, is what I just did there, if we use a loop, right? Notice these are the repeated chunks of code. One, two, three. So let me get rid of these guys. 
loop, boom. If I use a loop, I want to have this in my loop. I do not want to have set in my loop. We didn't want to have set three times like we just saw. We only want to set the length once. It's not going to change. Then three times we'll move forward, turn left, and change it. But we're not going to reset it. So set, we went above. It's kind of tricky, but we got it. Onward.